Let's get Chris Broussard in here. We have things to argue about. He's Mr. NBA for Fox Sports. We recruited this guy. He's our LeBron, baby. He's our free agent. Mark Cuban can't land one. Okay, can we go to the Mark Cuban thing quickly? Kevin Durant was out there. LeBron was out there. No state tax, middle of the country. Boston's got the worst winter weather in the world, the worst taxes in the world. Why can't Dallas land anybody? Well, nobody lands anybody. Other, LeBron went to Cleveland because it was home. He wanted to go back home. Okay. He went to Miami before that because he was very cognizant of what it takes to win a championship. He looked at what teams had won championships before, knew how to win, knew how to build a, t- a champion, and those are the teams he really took so seriously. So Pat Riley was Dallas big- had not won it at that point. Pat Riley was huge. You know, he knew LeBron knew he knew how to build a winner, and so that's why he – considered Miami so strongly. I mean, they, they overpaid for Harrison Barnes. <laughs> they gave him a yeah. max deal. So, but I don't think Chandler I, Parsons went there. Who's not a great, but he's gotten two max deals. Somehow he's blessed. Um, <laughs> Deandre Jordan considered it, had it. And you, you think about it though, only three teams in the league. Can you say really benefited from a huge free agent signing Cleveland, Golden State. I would argue if Dallas had, the personnel and the coaching and the, the style of play. They got a great coach. Golden State, great coach, but I'm saying what, what drew Durant to Golden State was the personnel and the style of play. If that had been in Dallas, I think he would have went to Dallas. I think players like Mark Cuban. I, I mean, LeBron, I know, has a good relationship with him. Uh, everything there is state of the art. You yes. know, you know he's going to spend money. I'm telling you. So I don't think that's a problem. But I could name 27 teams that can attract free agents or that haven't. In the last 10 years. If I was an NBA star, Dallas would be at the very top of my list. Yeah, and I think, guys, they're always on the list, typically. You know, but they don't get you. The girl left at the altar. They they are. They are. It's literally with DeAndre. No, no, (laughs) no. Literally. No, I just, I know, I know what's going on there. Yeah, but I, what, with a girlfriend? With what? Who cares? No. Girlfriend. Listen, teammate. had something not happened at the very last minute, yeah, but it did. he would be playing I, 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 in Dallas. I, I know the story, too, but, I mean. You get a guy or you yeah, don't. It, it, exactly. I mean, mm-hmm. there's always different types of stories. Okay, so there. yesterday I said this got a lot of pushback. I said, listen, don't tell me how great the Western Conference is and how lean the Eastern Conference is. I could take one team in the entire league, one, not Golden State, if I just put the Spurs in the East, look what your first round matchups would be. But that's, I mean. No, 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 no. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Just let me take, just, I'm not, in the Big Ten, if I took Michigan out, you still have Ohio State, Michigan State, Wisconsin, Penn State. If, if I go to the American League East and I take out the Red Sox, I still have the Yankees. In, if I go to the National League Central, take out the Cubs, I still have the Cardinals and the Pirates. Okay, you can't, the Mets. If I just take the Spurs out of the unbelievable Western (laughs) Conference and I put them in the East, the East suddenly has Spurs, Celtics, Cavs, a three seed in Toronto. So let's go to what the matchups would be. Celtics, they're not elite. No, no, time out. They're not elite. If you took San Antonio, no, 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 no. Uh, Based on record, the Spurs would be the number one seed in the East, Celtics two, Cavs three, Toronto four on record. So let's just, here's what your matchups would be, East versus West. If you took one team west, here's the first round. Golden State, San Antonio. Second round would be Houston, Boston. I'll take the Celtics. Third round would be Clippers, Cavs. I'll take the Cavs. Fourth round would be Jazz, Toronto. I'll take Toronto. I know why you're doing this. Why? To (laughs) bolster your argument for LeBron being the MVP. (laughs) Oh, they're the second seed in the East. That's that's something to shout and celebrate about. I mean, come (laughs) on. Look. There are three, maybe four elite teams in the league. Uh, Three. Okay. There's three. three. Okay. Two of them are in the West. Yes. And if they're the fourth best team is in the West, Houston. Uh, If you don't want to call them elite, they're not. Okay. Okay. They're not the fourth best team in the league. Okay. Let's go. And record wise, they are record wise. But second, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Record-wise, they're also playing a tougher schedule. Okay. They're playing a Western Conference. One more thing before you go on your rant. <laughs> the top five players in the league, clearly, even you would admit this, LeBron, Kawhi, not in order, LeBron, Kawhi, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook, James Harden. That's six. Five of them are in the West. Okay, and so let me keep going. Carl Anthony Towns, 
Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, okay. Damian Lillard, like all most of the best players. Uh-huh. I guess probably 15 of the top 20 players in the league are in the okay. West. So if Houston met Boston, let's go back to that egregious argument. <laughs> Head co- okay, some of this stuff sort of matters in the playoffs. If the Rockets played Boston, head coach, Big Edge Boston. Not so much. D'Antoni's probably going to be coach of the year. That means Sam Mitchell. When he Mitchell. has the right personnel. Oh, yeah. When he has the right personnel, <laughs> he is lethal. You know that. And look, the D'Antoni narrative would be so different if it wasn't for that suspension back in the day of Amari, or was it Boris Diaw and Robert uh, Amari? What about his tenure with the Lakers? He's a one-trick pony. He is absolutely oh, so, so a one-trick So you're trick. telling me. He was terrible in New York okay. and terrible with so the Lakers. So you're making the argument. He has to have the right personnel. So I just made the argument that Brad Stevens, who is widely respected as one of the smart offensive guys in the league, is not a one-trick pony. When I said Houston plays Boston, because this would be like your number three versus no, number two, two. If you took San Antonio out, you put him in the east, San Antonio faces Golden you State. Should, let's get rid of that argument. They're not in the East. Let, if LeBron <laughs> played whole, in Brooklyn, <laughs> Cleveland wouldn't be so all good. All I'm saying is these Western teams like Houston, Houston is wildly overrated. How they over, what they win, 57? Oh, in the wildly over Portland and the Utah. The West is not the, as deep as it has been the past few years. I'll give you that. Not as deep. But they're, the elite teams are okay, still in the West the outside of Cleveland. Who's the third best team? In the West? Yeah. Houston. Okay, let's look at this great Houston team. <laughs> let's just take the second. I mean, in the we all know Cleveland's the best team in the East. And then yeah. you get into the Washington-Boston argument. Many people have made the argument Toronto, that Boston's Washington. the Boston's got a better coach than Houston. Significantly, I'll give you that. Significantly overall. better defensive rank. Better field goal percentage. Better judgment. Better assist to turnover ratio. What, what Houston has is bench scoring, which you can't deny. Houston's got a hell of a bench. But all I'm and the say- best player. I didn't say the West is terrible, but I'm saying it's like the SEC in football. You take Alabama out, where's the beef? I mean, LSU just fired a coach. Like, where's the beef after Alabama? You, you start, you start, at, you give me Golden State, San Antonio. The two best teams in the league are in the West. Uh, that's your opinion. My defending champion Cavaliers <laughs> are going to get to the finals. They, they, they will. And and I always give them a shot because of the greatness of LeBron and Kyrie. But let me ask you this: the public's never been drawn to San Antonio. So if you took just Golden State, you know the NHL did this, by the way. They took the Detroit Red Wings from the Western Conference to the East. If the NBA just moved San Antonio, it is a which you think you could just because of the location. The, it, it, yeah, I mean if you if the, the Memphis, hockey did this, Memphis would be the team to move, and that would make the East better. No, no, no. San Antonio would go to the East. Memphis, Memphis. I mean, to me again, all this whole thing about the Western Conference, how great it is. It's, it's still. But what about my player argument? How are you gonna argue that? Okay, five uh, of the top first six of all, players I'm very, are in the West. I'm very, undoubtedly, can you are you busy six. for the next few minutes? No, I'm here. I'm oh, I'm I'm with you. You have a nice suit on today. I'm not just want to argue about a bunch of stuff because you got clogged up on this stuff. <laughs>